Hello guys and welcome back to the CryEngine Free SDK tutorial series and in this video uh, as promised I'm going to be covering a bunch of different entities that come with CryEngine. As you all probably may know that CryEngine comes with a hell of a lot of different entities and for that reason I can't necessarily demonstrate them all so I'm just going to be going over a few of the very basic most important entities there are. So to start off let's just go over to our entities tab under objects and then entity we've got loads and loads and loads of entities here so I'm just going to be going over the very basics so first of all uh, I did miss out vehicles in one of my earlier videos so I'm just going to show you how uh, to go about placing one of these now. So, vehicles are actually really, really simple. Uh, vehicle entities, you just pretty much just drag and drop them in. And boom, we have our tank. I'm not sure why it's in the air, but it works nonetheless. So, let's just go ahead and press Control G. And then, I can just go ahead and jump into my tank and do whatever I like and just shoot like a bouse. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, that, the reason for placing in that tank there was merely to demonstrate that um, entities are really simple, they just pretty much dro uh, drag and drop. Same with any entity, it's not just vehicles, uh, not just, you know, vehicles, you can do that with pretty much everything. And here we go, we've got another vehicle which I've just brought in, nice, quick, easy and simple. Okay, so enough of vehicles, are pretty simple. We've also got triggers, I'm not going to go into too much. But we've got a check-in box, area triggers, cinematic triggers, and proximity triggers. Let's say we want to go into proximity. Proximity, as you all know, is how close something is, and then it will react to that in the sense that it's a trigger. And cinematics, basically, you trigger this, a cinematic will play. It's pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to minimize that. Sound, we've got a hell of a lot of different sound uh, options here. You don't need to worry about any of them. Uh, the most important will be uh, music end theme, logic, uh, you don't need to worry about any of those, but you know, you've got music end theme, that's pretty much the music that's going to go into the end of the track. We've got ambient volume, which is just pretty much going to be the general background noise, but if you really want to go into all the different sounds, I'm pretty sure there's loads and loads of other different tutorials, you don't need to worry about that uh, right now, as sound is not something that's super important in game development. We've got samples, we can just pretty much skip that. Uh, we've got renders over here. Uh, we've got things like little weather uh, weather, um, weather well, uh, effects. So let's say I just go ahead and bring in lightning as I just did. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. And as you could probably see, there's a little quick lighting flash there. And once again, and boom. And we can see that uh, when we go into the ground. I know it's probably not the best setting for lightning just because it's in the middle of the day, no rain or anything, but you can play around with loads and loads of different weather entities. So I'm just going to quickly delete that, uh, you might want to play around with some of the other uh, render ones. Okay, so we have physics over here. Uh, physics are pretty important actually, you got stuff like cloth physics, let's say I place a cloth entity, I will be able to make things like uh, flags waving in the background with simulated physics which look really nice and cool we've got dead bodies which pretty much be like rigid bodies uh, you know ragdoll physics and all that cool stuff we've got particles we don't need to worry about these basically you can just pretty much hook up, hook up a particle entity into uh, another into another particle system which you'll be able to find in CryEngine and then just make it play whenever you want wherever you want and just pretty much adjust that however you like. Uh, under others, we got a few different things. We got things like wind, switch, rigid body, fan, hazard, camera shake. Camera shake's pretty cool. I'm not going to go into that, but you all know what a camera shake is. So you know when you're, let's say, there's an earthquake and boom, your camera shakes a little bit like that, and you have some nice cool effects. Sorry for that little pause. I had a little something in my throat, but um. You just want to really play around with some of these yourself. We've got camera shake, camera source, camera target. Uh, I'm not really going to go go into demonstrating any of these as they are somewhat more complex, and I'm rather limited on the actual amount of time that I have. 
Over here we've got multiplayer. You can probably guess what all these are. You've got flag. So let's say you're playing capture the flag. One of the players can just grab this. I'm not going to demonstrate it, but uh, you should get the general gist. We've got spawn groups, spawn points, team sound spot, random sound volumes, and a load of other things. So really, you need to try and play around with all these different entities, as I can't really demonstrate them unless I need uh, a different video for each of the sections. Lights, this is pretty important as I haven't actually got into this just yet, so to demonstrate this, I'm going to quickly go into a somewhat darker area up into these hills here. So, just go ahead and drag this light in, where are you? It is hiding. Okay, there's some turtles there, but I've completely missed those. Hmm. And boom, we've got our light. Do 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 do. Oh no, sorry, that is a rock. I don't want that. But um, you should be able to just pretty much drag and drop your lights in. Ah. And here we go. We have our light. Ah, nope, I have a rock again. There we go. And we have our light, finally. So, let's just go ahead and drag this onto our path. And you can see that, that lights it up pretty well. We've got a hell of a bunch of different parameters that we can play around with for the light. I'm not going to show you how to play around with them, but you can adjust things like color. You know, you've got your diffuse. I can change this to more of a blue if I really wanted to. I can make this a nice, sexy pink and just play around with it however I like and then I've just got stuff like the multiplier but you don't really need to worry about lighting too much other than that you can just simply place them so I'm just going to quickly uh, go back to my entities if I can find where I've gone uh, here we go entities, we've closed that, we've got ladders ladders are pretty much going to be used so you can create an object on the ground which the player can climb up which they normally couldn't which isn't just going to be a standard static mesh so, let's just say I run up to this press F and I can climb onto my ladder you can see that I kind of had to jump that, it's just due to my bad placement there but let's say I can climb up it and you can see my hands just pretty much sock it on and I can climb to the top and do whatever I like uh, however, I wouldn't advise just jumping off here, as sometimes you can die from pretty low fall damage in CryEngine just because you don't have an awesome suit of awesomeness. So, under items, we've got a hell of a lot more stuff. We've got our weapons, silencers, binoculars, and all that cool stuff. It's just pretty much items that you can pick up. So, let's just say I put down a scar and then drag this up a little bit. And boom, we have our scar. Uh, if I was actually in the game, I could just run over that. And then I can pick it up if I didn't already have one. Same with any of the other different um, entities that we have here for rocket launchers, binoculars, as we already have them. Same with si silencers. So, IK objects, you don't need to worry about any of these. Uh, fires, this is just pretty much easy, awesome stuff, you know, like fire particles. I'm not going to demonstrate that, it's pretty much straightforward. Environments, we've got rain, it's uh, already raining in the background I believe, so I'm not going to show you that. We've got things like shakes, tornadoes, uh, let's put a tornado in quickly, and drag this up. And boom, you can probably see my tornado that I got going on if I zoom out there. It's really cool, really nice, super effective, and is just complete and utter awesome Ooh, uh, here we go Let's just try that out and boom our uh, tornado actually just wisps around and is headed over there and as you saw it did actually knock me away which is pretty cool so let's see if I can catch up with my tornado over there but it doesn't seem to want to agree with me so I'm just gonna quickly go back and jump into my tornado, tornado like a nubcake. There we go. Didn't end up so well, it just pushed me up and all was good. So, let's just control Z to get rid of that tornado quickly. There we go. Let's go to our other entities. Uh, elevators, don't need to worry about those too much. 
doors, you can just pretty much set up animated doors with these. Um, default, don't need to worry about these, just like flow graph entities. I'm not going to go into these just yet, but you should get... Uh, I should go into it if I ever do an advanced series, same with one to the other ones that I've missed. Boids. Boids are pretty much little, small uh, creatures that you can find on the ground. Such as, I believe, there is a little, some little creatures going around uh, somewhere. I know there is some, definitely some, at the bottom of the deck, of the bottom of the dock. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly go find those chickens. That should be around to just so I can demonstrate to you what they look like. You can see that I got my little no uh god damn it. I'm just gonna go ahead and find my chickens real quick and then once I find them I will uh resume the video. Okay, so I've just found my little walking around chickens, here we are. And these are pretty much entities that you can drag in, which I showed, uh, which I showed off a couple seconds ago. And these are pretty cool because they're not just animated chickens; they are actually living chickens. They think and all that cool stuff. So once I get a nice clean shot on it, I can kill my chicken just like I did there. It's really awesome. Same with all the other ones. And boom. Excuse my bad accuracy, I'm stupidly tired, it's actually almost 5 o'clock in the morning. So, also we've got AI, however, I believe I should be going over those in the next few tutorials. So, uh, thanks for watching, I'm sorry I couldn't demonstrate everything in this video, I plan to do come, go over the most Im important things uh, later through the series, so thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.